See, look how perfectly this is in the middle. This is what I'm talking about. This is perfect. Well, just slightly off and it's gonna bother me. I shouldn't have looked at it. God dang it. Oh, dude, that's nice. Yes, look at that. What's up, everybody? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Subnautica. Last episode, we began building the ultimate base, the best base in the world. And that thing is right next to my beautiful wife, the Emperor, who is laying down for a long-awaited nap, nap, and who does not want to be disturbed, and just wants the caring touch and love of her man. I am totally not carrying on this crazy idea of us being in a relationship. I love you, babe. So anyway, this episode, we are going to continue building this best base ever. We got to add this moon pool and then another one. However, this one's not fully built because the structural integrity of the base is deteriorating uh, every second. Well, okay, not every second, but l anything I add to it, it's going to destroy this base to the point where there's going to be holes everywhere and it's just a really bad time. So I got to go get some lithium. That's what we got to do. Lithium and eventually a bunch of titanium. Anyway, let's go ahead and get in here. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, there's a nice little update to our HUD. Look at that. We have power. We have, I guess, the health and the temperature being listed on our Seamoth. And also, apparently, the depth and the maximum depth you can get. That's really nice. Does it do it in the exosuit, too? I would imagine so. Welcome aboard. Yes. Ooh. Wait. Oh, we have a thruster meter. That's way better than the percentage. Now I can actually visually see. Oh, man. I love this game. Anyway, let's head over. Uh, hopefully we don't get eaten by a reaper. I think that's the number one priority. Don't get eaten by reaper. There's definitely a reaper over here, but this way is the mushroom forest, which should have a lot of lithium. Where is... There it is. Okay, so there's, there's definitely a reaper out here. So... Uh, uh, I knew it. I knew it. Well, I already knew it. I already knew it. He's gonna attack me, isn't he? Okay. Woo! I should have already known it because I ran into it last time. I mean, I ran into it. I I saw it. Oh, I was also told that the the warpers aren't gonna hurt me anymore. I think you guys are a lot. I think you guys are just trying to get me hurt. Oh, there you are. Hey. Hi. Oh. Okay. It does it. You guys are right. Hey, 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 hey. Now I can just be friend. Ooh. Hey. What is that? What is that? What is that? What was that freaking shadow? What the hell was that? Was that you being a douche? Something is casting a very dark, disgusting shadow. Oh, it's the eclipse happening. Okay, we got to go to a different location because there's not that much lithium right here. Yeah, that's lithium. Okay. 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 There's shockers, too. <laughs> what a shocker. Ooh, creature egg. I could put that in the, uh, in my bioreactor. That's, te that's terrible. That's so terrible. This creature hasn't even had a chance to live, and I'm just throwing it inside of a something that's gonna, I don't know, turn it into pulp? What does it do? All right, so I think I got plenty. It's actually a lot. I don't think I'm gonna need more than that. Also, everyone was telling me that I need to use... Uh, more foundations, apparently. Foundations are a thing that will uh, add integrity and apparently don't cost anything. That's kind of OP. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm de Oh, I hear it getting closer. I hear it getting closer. Is it chasing me? I'm not even turning around. I'm not turning around. I wish it was daytime. That would be lovely. What is this? Ah, oh, the teleporter. We're good. We are golden. Let's please get in here. Can you imagine that thing coming into this? It could pro it probably couldn't fit in this, but it would be weird. Cause then it would get into the aquarium and the and my wife would just be like, calm down, and he wouldn't even try to eat me anymore. I don't do a good emperor impression at all. So we are here and let's go ahead and make ourselves boosts to reinforcement. I'm too far away. I do hate how the builder can't take an ion battery. That sucks to me. Okay, so that is good now. What else do you need? There we go. Strength is perfect. Is it perfect? I hear I hear noise. Oh, there oh, there are already holes in it. Perfect. Okay. So we have one. I'm clearly going to need more. Alright, let me put this uh egg <laughs> inside this so I can get some more power. Uh yeah, because I'm all out right now. 
There you go. Okay, so let's try to build a foundation. Because I could totally just put it right here. It just doesn't seem like it needs to be there. Whatever, you know? Like, it's... It's fine. Just... Just do it. I can always get rid of it, right? Let's put it here, too. I got yelled at so much for not using this. <laughs> Aw, I don't like this. That sucks. I don't like how it's, like, partially underneath. You see that? That's stupid. That's stupid. I gotta get rid of this. Oh, I can't. What the hell? Do not tell me I have to freaking... Oh, boy. I'm gonna be pissed. I do like the look of the straight poles, though. I don't really like anything else. Add another one right here. Might as well. It just looks so weird. Like, it's just not centered. Like, why wouldn't it be in the middle of the room, you know? All right, so that's essentially in the middle, but I'm thinking we should add another corridor just kind of here because that would be perfect in the middle, right? Yeah, let's do that. Again, we're going to replace all of these with glass. So then the moon pool can be over here. There we go. Okay, so that's where it's going to go. All right, let me just go over here and get these seed clusters and make the lubricant that we need. All right, there's my four. I definitely need an advanced wiring kit, four titanium ingots, and the four lubricant, right? What else did I need? Nope, that's it. Okay, we're good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's weird looking. I don't think I like that. Yes. Oh, no. What? What? Freaking hull integrity, man. I need more titanium now. Okay. Go get a whole bunch, a whole bunch of scrap metal. All right. Let's go. Going to gather up as much as possible. Uh, I don't think I emptied out completely uh, the, the compartments of my Seamoth which is unfortunate. I swear, there's no trip I could make in this game that ever goes perfectly as intended. It's always something. Now, I'm full, but I have no idea where my Seamoth is. Well, I think I'm full. Yeah, look at all that scrap. Where the hell's my Seamoth? Dude, this, be this beacon thing is, is getting a little old because it's definitely on. You just won't show me for some reason. Is it because I saved with it off? Is it a save bug or what? Should be over here, though. Right? Right? Yeah, there you are. Okay. Now I can do one more trip. Actually, you're coming with me. And you're gonna keep the light on. Because you have an ion power cell. And that way I can locate you. You're not gonna run out of power. I don't want to hear any whining. Alright, so there's a few over here. Let's grab them before the goddamn stalkers decide to pick them up. Oh god, there's- Oh, what's over here? What is that deepness? I don't want to go in the deepness. This is a nice place for a piece of scrap metal, though. I can get a few more. Holy crap. I'm gonna have a lot of titanium. Okay, now I'm out. Now I'm out. What can I drop? Did I drop anything? Nope. Two extra lithium. Oh! Gimme. Thank you. And let's go north. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. That should be plenty. Yes. Eight. Okay, and we're gonna build another compartment here. Just right there. That's fine. Because for some reason, this one doesn't want to extend its legs out. Let's just leave that one since that one extends the, uh, see, look how perfectly this is in the middle. This is what I'm talking about. This is perfect. Well, just slightly off and it's gonna bother me. I shouldn't have looked at it. God dang it. Anyway, so we got this and connect it to the next moon pole. Sweet. Ooh, let's get rid of that. That's ugly. Okay, so we got enough entirely for our two beasts to sit in here. Uh, can I add a window to the side here? Yes, you actually can add a window. Okay, give me the glass. Where, where did the glass go? I think it's over here. There we go. Oh, it is. It's its own separate window. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> oh, hey, crap. Where am I going to put the... Uh... Oh, it has to be here. No. I only need one, right? So then I could attach it back here to that one. And then another window over here. Yeah, well, I only need one, right? Just to, I, I don't need it to customize anything anymore. That's strictly for just making upgrades. So I need glass, computer chip, and titanium. Do I have two computer chips? I may, may or may not. I only have one computer chip. Perfect. No, that's exactly what I wanted to read. So gold, table coral sample, and copper wire. So I do have the copper wire, I do have the gold, I just don't have the table coral sample. Okay. So... We got to go out and do that. At the same time, we're going to go get a whole bunch, and I mean a whole bunch of glass or quartz rather. So we got to go back to the safe zone just to do that. I'm so happy. Actually, you're not very, you're not customized at all. So this would be the perfect place to have this one. You're good to go. And I will head out to the safe zone. 
for quartz. There might be more quartz elsewhere. I also need table coral samples, so it makes the most sense. Anyway, I'll see y'all there. Okay, so we're back, and I'm actually, I was thinking about it, I'm gonna get a bunch of table coral samples and a bunch of copper, uh, just because I know I'm gonna need it in the future, and I don't wanna have to keep coming back here. So, did any of this respawn? There's a few over here. I'll just gather a whole Seamoth side storage of these, so I can make some if need be. Oh, wow, I forgot about these. Son of a... Oh, that's so stupid. Well, uh, crap. Well, I guess I could just make the glass here, right? That's a thing I could do. Instead of just waiting. I could just make it here. That would reduce the amount that I need to carry. And holy crap, I am so dumb. I hate my life, dude. You know what? You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Don't even care, dude. I can get so much more at any point. Now on the search for copper. Yay, copper. One of my favorite resources to find. Yay, got two. Okay, that's not actually not a bad, that's not bad at all. Okay, that's, I'm actually on a roll here. Okay, I think I've, oh, nope, I missed one. I thought I cleared it out completely. And another copper. Yay. Now it's cleared out. There might be more over here. Yeah, I doubt it. Okay, I think that's enough. That looks like enough, I guess. There we go. Now I can just collect quartz and then make some glass. Yes. My favorite. That's actually- this is actually my favorite. It's way more my favorite than finding copper. Yay! 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 That's a lot of quartz. Oh, look at this poor guy. He tried to go in and he can't- Aww. I feel so bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some, uh, nice little glass there. Hey, Peter. There we go. Okay, we got a whole bunch of glass. I could probably pick up a few of these, uh, nice little things here, too. You know? Cool! Let's head on home. Because, good lord, I am tired of dealing with this stupid back and forth. Alright, so let's go ahead and park this thing in our second moon pool. Excuse us. And I will turn what I have into useful things. Okay, so here I can make another computer chip, and that'll give me two, and that should be enough, I think. And you take what I give you. Yes. So the prawn suit's there. We can customize our prawn suit now. Oh, look at this. I love it. Can I put windows all around? Can I? Window here? Ooh, I can put a window here. I don't necessarily need them, but they're nice. They're nice to have, for sure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need lithium. I need lithium. Huh? Eh, eh, what do I do? Okay, there you are. I was like, where the hell did all my lithium go? Okay, we gotta build another reinforcement. And it's good. Okay, we're gonna build another one just in case. Might as well, to just kind of future-proof our entire place, we'll do another. So, I can't get rid of this foundation. That's not possible, because I'd have to remove this entire room just to make that happen. Alright, you know what? You're going on top. I don't even care. Going on top. We'll have storage up here. I do not care. <laughs> or better yet, the bioreactor can go in there. Although, I kind of don't want to lose all the power it has. I wish I could take this stuff- Oh, you can't get- I inspect the bioreactor. Shut up. Get what I want. Yeah, how do you like that? No oxygen. There we go. So it's like right there as soon as you get up. Okay, and I don't have anything else add to add to it. Son of a- Okay, take a table coral. Yay! Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, there we go. Now we're full. What does this give me? 22 and 15? That is just nuts. Um, 107 health? Is that possible? Am I, am I supposed to have 107 health? Alright, trying to get these marble melons out and put in here for power. For now, that should work. There we go. Okay, so... Up there is power, and here could be storage. I really wanted it to be below, though. I mean, I guess, maybe I could- Ooh, maybe I could just have it separate. That would be awesome. So what will this do? Okay, it gets rid of those, and you're just kind of sitting there. So this is the same base, though, right? Storage is completely separate. I could just access this through here. Yeah, I guess it gets power from- Oh, that's nice. Okay, I, I can see this working out. We'll figure that out. But right now, they could just- all, all the items I have can just stay where they are. But I really want to uh, swap out these connections for glass ones because 
it looks so much better that way. For instance, you can get deconstructed, and I will put on you instead a glass corridor. Perfect. And the L shape, I'm going to put a glass L and one more glass corridor. Wait, there, I think there's another one connecting these two, right? Yes, but it's already glass. Okay, cool. So that's essentially it. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that? Oh, you're disappearing. Don't do that. This is pretty sweet. I gotta say. Now, at this point, I think it's important to build some lights. We gotta have, we gotta have some lights, man. Oh, I need glass for that, too. Crap, I forgot. Maybe I should get rid of some of these windows. Because <laughs> the windows are super expensive, right? So let's go ahead and remove these two, because I'm not even using them right now. And that should be fine. Those two definitely are needed. But the rest can wait. Okay, let's definitely build a spotlight in front of, or a floodlight, I guess it would be. Yeah, floodlight in front of her face. There we go. I like how it shows it. Oh, dude, that's nice. Yes. Look at that. Now, this is a constant source of energy, which is gonna suck, but that is nice. That is definitely nice. So we have to constantly put stuff into... Oh, this sucks. Could definitely use another spotlight facing her, though. We gotta illuminate her the best we can. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's get inside here. Is there another way to put hatch somewhere. There's no way. Can I put it on top? I can't put it. Oh, that sucks. All right, I'll put a hatch right there whenever I get more glass because I'm already out. Of course I am. There we go. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. What a beautiful view. So we need to have another constant source of energy. That uh, is something that I don't have to worry about. Now, is there any... Can I make a thermometer? I need to make a thermometer. How do I do that? Where do I make a thermometer at? Is that no longer a thing? Oh, okay, so I just read up that uh, it was removed because apparently nobody uses it. But the time that I need to use it, I can't. Uh, so I guess I got to get into my Seamoth. That or the prawn suit can tell me the temperature. Okay, so I need to find if there's maybe a hot spot somewhere that can generate a decent amount of heat. Just the power of the lights, though, because I'm not worried about anything else. If I need to use the base, that won't be too bad. Now, I could use the temperature outside here, right? And then I would just have to put the power transmitters all the way around. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be... I can check down in these caverns, maybe, but uh, I'd get really lucky. I might be able to see it against the wall. Maybe I could glitch it somehow. Okay, it's certainly not in here. You know what? I have a great idea, though. I just had an amazing idea. What if I'm able to put a thermal generator on the outside here and then have a power transmitter come through the wall? Let me check the sides, though. I might get lucky. Come through the wall and then power on the inside. I mean, that's obviously an exploit that will be patched eventually, but that would be so sweet. Wait, okay, so I was looking around and then I came back to it and I saw the lights were off. Uh, and it says right here, it says low battery. Uh, it was getting powered by the base, but then it stopped. Both of them are not actually drawing power. Does it actually take batteries? That would be nice if it did. I think it used to, but it, it might have been removed. I don't think it's a thing anymore. But I don't know why it's not being powered. Maybe after a certain threshold, like below 100, it won't uh, power anymore. So I'm going to take a couple of uh, innocent creatures real quick and just throw them into... God, I feel so bad doing this. <laughs> just throw them in and see if going above 100 means that it'll turn on. Ooh, that is smart. So essentially when I'm in game is when it matters the most. It doesn't really seem like it's going to make too much of a difference uh, when I'm not here. I mean, I have an infinite amount of resources anyway. What's the best tool for the bioreactor? I'm gonna look that up real quick. Okay, so it says the gel sack is the best option. We need an interior grow bed right up here, and we need to get ourselves some uh, gel sacks. I'm pretty sure there's one around here, right? Or the gel sacks might be exterior. They're exterior, right? Yeah, there's one. Okay, so this might be an exterior, which is not a big deal. I can build that too. Actually, this place might be perfect to build it right over here. It's like a little lip that I can put it on. So just place this at an angle to look sweet. And if I'm not mistaken, we can put that in here. Yes. So each gel sack gives me three seeds to plant more. 
So I get two seeds from it and then put it into the bioreactor, which gives a hundred power, by the way. One hundred. But again, I probably shouldn't be putting them in uh, because then the lights are just going to drain them. I wish there was an on-off switch for the lights. Is there? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section below. I'm, I'm so confused by this. This is the first time I've ever utilized anything like this, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm usually a solar power thermal reactor guy. Never had to do the bioreactor before. It's very weird. There we go. Now we got a bunch growing. Then once those are grown, I can just get more seeds and we'll have a lot of power. I mean, it seems like the lights are draining it at a speed that keeps it at 100, basically. So I might need another bioreactor, dude. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put up another room on top for another bioreactor on the second one. That way it, it adds double, because uh, right now it's just staying at a, a level 100. And if that's the case, then I'm going to be screwed for using the fabricator. So if you guys have any better ideas for that, for a constant source of power, I can't get light and I can't get heat in here. That sucks. That's one of the downsides, I guess. Yeah, it says converts heat to energy above 15 degrees Celsius. So unfortunately, it goes. the highest it goes in here is 12. Okay, well, I think I'm going to cut it here. I've been building on this for quite some time, and I do know that it's kind of a, a very grindy, uh, not really exciting series right now, and I don't want to just build up the base and then leave it be, and then you guys not see the process of it. The building is actually pretty fun, but this is, it's comparable to, like, we watch Lord of the Rings, right? The three, the three movies. Obviously, it's not as good as the books, as most people would say, but let's say you watched it and you enjoyed it, and it was super action-packed and thrilling, and then you go and watch The Hobbit. If you go into The Hobbit with the mindset of, you know, Lord of the Rings, or it's going to be like that, you're going to be disappointed because the story isn't anywhere near as exciting as Lord of the Rings. So, it's kind of like that. You're used to all the cool stuff that's been happening in Subnautica lately, and now we're just taking a break building stuff. I hope that doesn't deter a lot of you guys, but if you're still here watching, then that must mean something. I'm going to die. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next one in the comment section below. Go ahead and subscribe. Turn on notifications so that way you're notified as soon as I put out a new video. Thanks again for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.